So Lovable has just released version 2 and there are a lot of features that are introduced in this version. The most prominent thing that you'll find in this version is their complete redesign of user interface. So previously their interface was a bit different but now it is comparatively more modern and more advanced. I think they have tried to change their icon as well. So now their heart icon is also changed. But yeah, these are just minor changings. Let's just talk about some of the major changings in here. So the first major change is brand new UI. As I mentioned already, that they have completely changed their front end design and interface. Now it looks more better and much more modern as well. The second thing that they have introduced is actually this multiplayer functionality. So what is multiplayer functionality? Let's suppose if you're working on a project. So now let's suppose if I'm working on this project or maybe on this project. So I can actually invite more people. So let's suppose if there is someone else who can actually work on super base integration or who is actually going to work on the backend integration or if I am a project manager and if I want to like add more like front-end designers or like maybe back-end developers or anyone who can actually collaborate on this project so i can simply just invite them in here so to collaborate you need to of course have a pro version right now i have a free version only so that's why i cannot collaborate but you can actually if you have a pro version that you can actually collaborate here and then you can invite uh, multiple people so multiple people all together can actually work on similar on same project so some people can actually start working on the back end side of things they can actually start working on a certain feature and you can actually work on another feature so multiple people can actually work on the same project so that is revolutionary the next thing is chat mode which i personally realize is really important in these kind of ai code editors so let's suppose if i had like some i had to like ask some questions from here and if I ask some question from here, so most of these AI code editors, what they do, they just like go ahead and start making changings in the code. But I don't want that. I, I'm just like asking questions. So I don't want you to like start making changes in the code base. So that's why this chat mode actually, this is how it works. If you just click on that and then now you can ask questions from Lovable about certain thing. Let's suppose if you want to ask that, okay, if I want to integrate Superbase, what are the steps? Just like explain steps to me or you can just like ask maybe about any of these sections that if i want to like change something in this section how it will work so do you don't want to like make that change right now you're just like asking questions from here in here so so i mean it should not make any changes in your code base it should just like act as a chatbot with your project so it has all the complete knowledge of your uh, project and it is now ask uh, like answering questions uh, related to your project so this is like really important feature and we, we should have like something similar in cursor as well because most of the times whenever i have question about my code base in cursor so i have to like when i ask a question cursor likes or so for some reason just starts making changes in my code base so yeah that's a bit annoying but yeah i mean this is uh, better for us the next thing is security scan so let's suppose if there are any security vulnerabilities in your app so with lovable's new security scan feature you will find this feature when clicking publish in lovable uh, if you have connected superbase so this is just start of many things and as they have mentioned that they will do in coming months to make wipe coding more secure so this is just about like if there is any security breach if you're like leaving any sort of maybe i don't know like environment variables in your code or if there is any other security vulnerabilities that can actually let attackers and scammers actually hack your app so it can this feature actually can can help that the most exciting part right now is dev mode so i have been actually waiting for this feature for a while so we have finally finally got dev mode in lovable so let's suppose this was my code base so this is my project but for some reason if i cannot access my code base so now i can actually access my code base so this is my code base so you can see i have like a source project uh, like this source directory because this is the next .js project so i have got this default source directory and then there is app css file then this is app.tsx file i can now like directly change code in here i can directly like access this code in here i can see my code what it has created what it has written i can totally change that in here so to update this code you cannot actually directly update from here first of all you need to synchronize this with your github account and you need to like make sure that you always have a backup 
in GitHub. So you can simply just click on this button and then you can synchronize this with your GitHub. Connect your GitHub account. It will create a GitHub repository in there and then you can actually directly make changes in here. So let's suppose if you make some sort of like errors in syntax errors, so you can simply just like revert back to the previous version of your code base which was working so this is how easy and simple it is now the next feature is a visual edit feature i think i have already covered that so let's suppose if your project is something like this and now if you want to like change something visually rather than like you ask the liable chatbot and liable agent to like change like the color of this header so now to make this change there are two options one is i can just ask it to like change the background color of this header or the next step is i can simply just click on this edit option and from here i can simply just choose this particular header i can change the background color of this header change it to something else and even like maybe completely different color or like any other design changing i can add more margins in here and i can add like different styles in here i can add more padding in here so this can actually help us to customize our designs more so, so you can do this similarly for any other portions any other sections and any other components on your design you can simply just hover over there simply make sure that you have edit, clicked on this edit option and from here just choose uh, let's suppose if you want to just like change this text just change this text directly from here click on save and then it will change the text that particular component it will update that particular component the visual kind of edit that you have made it will update that and it will update your source code as well on backend so this is your source code so whatever changes you make using your visual edit feature it will update that in your source code as well the next thing is custom domain so of course we can add custom domains let's suppose if you publish this project so this is a project if i just click on this publish and there is a domain section in here i can simply just click on this manage domain and from here i can just simply click on this add a domain and then actually i need to upgrade my account to add a custom domain so if i have like an paid version of liable.dev then only then i can add my custom domain but to add a custom domain the process is very simple let's suppose if you have purchased a domain from something like hostinger something like codaddy so it will actually ask you to update your name servers or add some records inside your domain so it will actually provide you some details in here so it is very simple and easy process so let's suppose right now the domain name is the subdomain of liable.app domain so if you have your custom domain attached then it will be your custom domain then you can actually access your website that you have just built using liable with your custom domain name so that too is possible with liable now so yeah these were some important changes in this version let's try creating something using liable let's just like go to liable.dev make sure that you are logged in after that let's just try to create something let's just choose something from the suggestions that are provided in here i'll simply just click on this markdown editor so a markdown editor with live preview using react markdown with split view and syntax highlighting so let's just click on enter and now let's just see what liable does and how it will create this markdown editor the way liable used to like work previously in terms of like interaction in terms of like user experience during development that is 100 percent similar nothing changed in there you can see it like shows this kind of all of the information while it is setting up the project while it is like writing code so it does that similarly the only thing is the logo is a bit tilted now previously it was different but yeah i mean that's the only difference that i can store a spot in here during the functionalities other than that everything is kind of very similar all right so this is the preview that it is showing now we have an error so i can simply just click on this try to fix let's just see that if it fix this error or not so apparently there is an error in this component which is markdown editor dot tsx so there is an error in our component so let's just see if it fixes that error or not okay so perfect our errors are just resolved and now you can see we have got our react markdown editor and in fact it's functional actually if i can add a link in here so i can just provide some sort of like text you can see this is the uh, url added in here and it has this text that's cool that's really cool actually i can add any sort of like text maybe some sort of like quotations awesome and i can add block of code similarly i can add some sort of headings in here so this is the and this is the first heading this is the h2 so just give it a try this new version of liable looks cool just keep in mind in free version of liable you are only allowed five prompts in a day so you can only use five prompts every 24 hours so just use it wisely one more thing that i forgot to mention is you can actually download this source code and then 
then you can open that in cursor as well so if you just click on this code viewer and from here you can see this is our source code but right now there is no option directly to download this source code so to download your source code all you have to do you can simply just click on this github button and now we need to make sure that our github account is connected right now you can see my github account is connected so i'll simply just click on this github button in here and now you can see it shows this option for transfer project so i can simply just click on that then i can just choose my github account from here and now it will create a repository inside github this is my repository i can simply just copy this url of this repository i can open this url directly and now you can see this is my repository created on my github account i can simply just find this repository very easily i can click on my i can log into my github account by simply just going to github.com from here i can simply just go to my repositories and from here you can see i can find this mark plane live and from here you can see this is my source code this is like very simple and easy you can simply just maybe click on this code button and download this as a zip file or you can simply just copy this url then open your cmd and then just write git clone just choose a directory just write git clone press enter and then it will clone this repository locally on your computer and then you can just open that folder of that repository inside cursor so then that way actually you can access your code directly inside cursor and you, then you can just like start customizing it from there similarly you can just like maybe use tray ai or maybe windsurf ai or any other local ai code editor just use visual studio with Klein or rook line so yeah you just like use that so you can easily access now any of your project that you created in Lovable directly locally on your computer in any of these AI code editors. So this is how simple it is. Just give it a try and let me know in comments what you think about this new version of Lovable. If you have any further questions, just leave your comments in the comment section. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.